Y'all want to know how to ball home? Is that why you're here? Is that why you're here? Because you want to know how to backyard repair and uh Okay, let's see. Now, you want a 40 degree angle. 45, right? A 45 degree angle when you're doing it. And that's just, you're gonna, I, the speed is pretty good. The speed is done. We'll set the speed, just remember how fast that is. And you gotta do the stroke so that the, the remainder of it, when you come up, this thing spins on a little less than a 45 degree angle. It's a good thing to know. If you see a 45, don't go more than a 45, then you're going too fast, right? Watch here. Oh, turn it up. I don't have enough here. You turn that up while I'm going. See, that's how fast I can go right now at that speed. Slower. Is that number seven? Is that the one that had the scratch in it? Oh, we need a light. You can't see. Turn that flash on. Maybe you can see. Maybe. Okay, let me turn the flash on. Yes. Look at that. We need to go to number seven. Do we? Yeah. Oh. Such a rare six four block. Oh yeah, this is oh this is the six four. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. See we're doing another one over there on the other side. I thought this was a damn six liter. What was that? It sounded like the gear. Did you have it pulled out far enough? Okay, where is the It was number seven. Were you just on number seven? Where are we at? This is number seven right here. Oh, yeah. Are you sure it's number seven? It's upside down. Yeah, I'm sure. Whatever, is it on the top? Yes. Oh, it's on the top. Oh, good, then you can't see it. Oh, oh good. <laughs> then you can't see it, so it doesn't exist. Take a little gander. Look at that top. Let's see how bad it is. See what came out of it. I feel it bad. There's some pretty good ones in there. This is a 6.4 though. This is, man, that'll ride. At least it's on the bottom. Me We're going it. with that. I, I don't even know what the clearance is yet. We're just going to, let me see again. Look up there. Uh, maybe I ought to go just a little bit more down there in the bottom. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Kind of rough. Yeah. Uh, not, a, not a bad ridge though. So it's just yeah. a failure here. Can you do that? Just a failure. Like, Joey tore about a part of 6.4 out here. We got a 6.4 tore apart. The valves are about 70%. Some of the intakes leak a little bit, but he tore this one apart. This is the original one that was in here. Probably, I don't know, six, eight months ago, we had a uh, uh, broken head gasket. Look up there, I'll try to put a card in. But that's this actual engine. So after we bought that one from a, that was a used engine we just put in, studded, low miles engine, when they got a charge air cooler full of oil and it, it ran away. So pretty much tore that engine up, messed up the rods, I'm sure. I'm sure the rods are all bent. So we have everything to fix that. We're gonna go ahead and redo this existing engine. The problem is over here, where the head gasket blew is right there. And that right there is pretty freaking deep. I've got the, the levels a little off right now. I'm a little high on this side and I'm a little high on the front. You can see it, it cut all the way to here. And then here, it just cut like an L. So I need to raise it up a little this way and then raise it up just a little that way. But not, I mean, well, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I don't know, something might be up. Uh, this deck service is fighting me. I've adjusted it a whole bunch of times. <laughs> what a pain in the butt. Got a little bit on both sides. Not too bad. Y'all got it, except it did not get that. Look at that hole right there. Right there. <laughs> That's deep too. Uh, I don't think we're, I don't know. Potentially could trash the block. Oh, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We'll put the pistons in it. Uh, calling it done. Mm. There's our hole. We're living with it. We're going with it. Otherwise, it's trash the block. You already, the cylinder's pretty good. Oh, that's good. 
There you go. Both sides are done. Absolutely awesome. So now we got a six liter mounted up, this one. And I did go ahead after we, I think this, this engine's had two or three block parties so far today. It's, uh, it's been a little busy. We got it doing another one, which Julie loves that because that means we have to stay, right? Because we have to stay, let it go. And then when it comes out, we got to go bone dry with it and, and oil it. Then we can put it on this stand right here to be built for out there for that truck. When this one gets done, I'm not sure that, I don't know if we're gonna leave the ball home or if we're gonna go ahead and cut and, and cut it. Doesn't really matter for the schedule right now because uh, I know 10 will clean. They're only like a thousandths worn on all the cylinders. So I know 10 will do it. So it will surface it. And I don't know, cause we're, we're leaving. We're not gonna, we're not gonna work this weekend. So I might just have it sit over here and wait for the honer. That way for the piston, when 10 pistons get here, or I might just ball, I might just leave it. I might leave it. Just may call this a refresh, leave a whole bunch of meat on the bone. This engine can be rebuilt a whole bunch of times, which hopefully it never needs that again. Right. But I mean, you never know a failure can happen. Things can happen. So we don't need to, I don't know. Right now we're going to, Cut the six liter and get the seven three out or the six four. So we did a seven three, six liter, and a six four. Huh. Doing it all. So we're two thousands up, didn't touch. Who knows what kind of level we're on? We're about to do a block party back there on the six four. That's none of these bars. It's that six four. That two thousands above and didn't touch anywhere. That's pretty freaking good. That's the bonus to running this thing like over and over. Let's just uh, drop it down. I was wrong. It was 3,000s up on the last one. Now I'm 2,000s up. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't even know what that says, if it's entirely accurate. Once I get the point where it's touching at, whether it be half a thousandths before or after, I mean, you could reset it easy. It's always re zero, but it's just comparing. Everything's just comparing. I mean, it's how far is it and how far down you want to go. Pretty simple. Two thousands didn't touch anything, didn't sound like it. Nothing got touched. No, it's pretty good. Okay, so we want it to not touch. That's good when it doesn't touch. It means that we're we're riding even across the top of it, not not out of level. I mean I'm at two thousands now, so I'm pretty good. Here's where I am. Oh, closer than 2,000. Well, about that. It, it's all in how, see, I can move it. I can, if I push harder or not. About 2,000. It's like a relaxed number. That's more like two and a half thousand. It was going up. My gauge probably is moving, isn't it? Is it? Or this is unscrewing. You know, that happens too. You gotta watch that to be unscrewed. Yep, see, it was unscrewed. I'm actually 4,000, so. Yeah. Dummy. Dummy. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it compares. It doesn't. It, it. But if it moves in between checking and going to the net, yeah, it can move. That's uh. Yeah. Still right above it. It's been pretty consistent all the way across. Normally, these blocks are pretty good. Three thousandths normally is all you it's going to take to clean up the block. Six, seven for the heads, but normally about three does the blocks. I mean, that's why I take all that time so that the first cut actually hits it. You know how many times shops won't do that and they will freaking just, 
it's a couple thousands off, they'll just go ahead and chop that sucker off. Who gives a damn if that side of the head of the cylinder block is, you know, three thousandths or two thousandths different. Let's see how we did. That looks, I think, oh my God. I mean, look, it cut the top. That's like, that's, let's see. All right, let's see it together. Oh, it did do the top corner. Oh, wait, it did there. Okay, so. No way, I'm, I'm going with it. I'm going for that. I bet it grabs that real fast. I mean, it's right here and here. So it's so close to catching it. Obviously, I'm a little high here and I'm a little high there. But I mean, we're talking, that's less than the thousands. Maybe, probably, hell, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it's freaking close. At least we tried, right? We tried. Alright, here we go. What time is it? Where's your watch? I took it off since we're gonna do block party, but I think it's about 10. 10? Yeah, it's dark outside. So. Okay, get ready for this block party. Oh, I guess I can. The headphones on. There you go. Let's put this on the, uh... Stand. Off we go. You got a date. Right there with that dirty bitch. We'll get this mounted on here. <laughs> yeah, right there, that's what happens. First cut. Walked up to it and walked up to it, made sure it was level. <laughs> that's 1,000. Damn. So let's cut that much off. Less than 1,000. Nobody's even holding it. It's just over in here. Just hang it. Now we're gonna tighten it up. Maybe up a little more. Up and down? Up. Almost done on that side, it's definitely done. That might have been too much cutting that three quarters of a thousand out. Yeah. It's gonna be clean. There it is. That right there is a one day machine right there. We, uh, that was in the, another building last night. At this time we pulled it out. Decided we'd give it another shot. Just a ball home. Six four with a ball home with a, we'll see how it does. Yeah, that's crazy, right? You wouldn't think that a six four would clear, which there's more on that story. We, we, can, we can talk about that later. Who knows? Final side right here, and we're calling it at night. It's dark out. It's like midnight. Dang, it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if it touched off up there anywhere. I should have marked it. Huh? I didn't mark it. Because if it touched off up there, it touched off here, and it touched off here, and here. Right? Quite a bit here, though. So we're a little high. Man, I'm wondering there a little bit. Oh, I don't see any, huh? No. is it only right there which is weird i mean that's on the farther than halfway cut here cut all that right there hmm. so from this side we're good we're actually a little high here but from here we're showing 
low there. This is one of them points where we kind of gamble that uh, we're, that it's gonna grab that corner right there pretty fast. Maybe, I mean, it did touch off almost all the way to there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see how we did, because it's a little late, and I'm kind of ready to be done working on blocks. Looks like, yeah, we are on a wonderful level right there. That's, that's the first pass that cut the marker. Yeah, you couldn't really ask for much better than that. Even caught the top up there all the way down. This thing is really fun to drive, but it's got mad problems the keys we got uh two pedals that work one pedal doesn't work that one's having a rough time Whew. have you guys ever driven go-karts like in branson missouri that's what this thing feels like 